pros and cons. Welcome to peek over my shoulder as I mosey about in Call of Project. And, uh, this is the business that I wanted to tackle before entering Skotovsk. I understand that the rainy night is making uh, footage a little bit of a nightmare, but I've just tried doing jumps off that roof with the, with the launcher grenades and okay it's with impeccable timing it's probably possible but it could be a pain in the ass but then I realized that this pipe is going this way as well so I'm checking out this route So if I make the jump from here, it's probably more viable than from there. I bet that they have put a, uh, an invisible wall somewhere here. Uh, so let's try it from here, from this roof. Yeah, let's, let's try again. So I, I think I know why the uh, roof uh, roof edges here are so heavily protected. Because if I remember correctly, uh, some speedrunners told me that the uh, level changing teleporter uh, is on is placed on that roof's build uh, on that <laughs> building's roof. Oh, okay, that was easy. Manual save here. Of course, this this building or this roof is not on the edge of the map either. So let's see, can I actually get anywhere from here? Huh? I don't think I can. Hello. Uh, is that a pseudo dog or a bloodsucker? It's a dead puppy. Okay, so from here, from here I can get to the top of the fence, still worth a shot. So also quick saving because convenience. I thought that this direction before, I wonder. Because I, I know I haven't tried it in my previous game. Don't fall. Uh, is there. Okay. There isn't an actual ledge here, so this, this is kind of a dead end. Well, bummer. Here. Well, not counting this one. Let's, let's still try. Okay, this didn't work out too well. Mm, let's try with these instead.
easy, easy, easy. Come on, you just you just got on top of that fence. What's what's changed? So this save is from here. Nothing here. Whoops, no, don't don't fall down. What other venues has the launcher opened up? So let's see this roof. This roof doesn't take us anywhere. These fences are kind of lucrative. And that's the thing, the... Oh, okay, this might work. Quick save. Uh, the uh, launcher grenade Blast seems to be uh, either it's stronger than than I'm used to, or its radius is bigger, but uh, it doesn't work too well for jumps. Oh, huh. So this is the this is the tip that if you can make their dead, you might be able to make it there alive. <laughs> okay, there's probably some sort of impact box there, or whatever you call it. Right away, that this this whole episode is probably gonna be dedicated to grenade jumping. But at least I'm gonna keep it contained in one one place. Now, okay, so this is too far. Well, depending how you. Okay, this one is still not deadly, but. There is no launching function. So this is this is the if I dare say classical fence height that you would get over with a classical grenade jump. So let's let's try again. Yeah but is it a timing issue or what? Can't tell. I have 
four, three or four grenades and, and three or four medkits. So I'm, I'm gonna keep trying. That's the thing, right now I don't know whether it's not working because it's not working or whether it's not working because I'm not doing it right. Also, are there any snags here that I can get on top of you? I mean, that, I, that can hurt me. Nope, still not over the fence. For a change, let's let's do one from the roof. Yes, the roof. Right. Oh, it's still raining here. <laughs> this this save is from a little bit earlier in the night. So the idea is to jump here and fire the grenade and I have failed to yield any results. The thing is that the the jump from here to almost at that building doesn't actually take that much effort. But I don't seem to be getting any farther, so let's just try. Okay, jumping, I mean, firing in the middle of running, not good. And firing while in the air, air hasn't uh, yielded results either for now. Send. <coughs> See? Very often the jump takes you just close enough that you're gonna graze the roof, but not close enough to actually reach the, uh, reach the ledge or the roof's edge. I was also trying to do the launcher grenade jumps at that pipe uh, by the, you know, over there, on the other side, I mean. And uh, I can't even tell if, uh, if there is a, uh, an, un an invisible wall or not, because the, uh, the, the launcher grenade's blow is, is killing me every time. And that's the thing, I don't know if it's killing me because there's a there's a wall on the way or if I'm just too too close to the blast. Oh damn it. It's kinda close, but not enough. These kinds of ex these kinds of experiments don't really make the best uh, 
uh, shared experience because they can take very long time. Even even if it eventually works, the uh, the trial and error can take hours and hours and hours and sometimes days. Damn. Okay, I think. look around and then proceed elsewhere. here seems to hold a little bit of promise although this seems to be more hand grenade material instead then it's not raining <coughs> it's nice and quiet here Hello doggy. Oh, I almost forgot that I have the launcher selected. Uh, so even if I made it to that roof, it wouldn't mean much, would it? Let's try a few more jumps over there. facing the place where you want to jump so that you can actually do the jump but for the rocket jump it's better to face away coming a little bit farther okay this time the timing was okay-ish how many hand grenades do I have to move? Let's, let's keep trying Okay-ish. One medkit left. Let's let's use it for a for a blam. Oh. 
Oh, oh. Shit, I made it. Oh, okay, let's let's try this again. at least. So I have to shoot precisely. Or not. Fuck off. definitely on top of the fence but I think there might be slippery ground uh, slippery surface or or invisible wall there okay this is not on top of the uh, there save when I have the other weapon out. Saves me a move. So this fence is higher than this one. Yes, yes. Nope. Take one of these two for good measure. Might be returning to this uh, spot when I when I have a better suit and and better healthcare and all that. <gasps> okay. No oh, shit. <laughs> I should I should say one more time, one last time, every time. So. Okay, this didn't work this time. No, 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 no. Have to be on the ledge here. Yeah. So, so yeah, it seems to be loading, loading, loading. seems to be possible to theoretically get on top of the fence but probably not not further maybe i don't know yeah whatever okay that's enough Uh, 
have a few other spots in mind that I might want to try out. So since since this whole switch to normal, since this whole video is about uh, grenade jumps and experimentation, I'm just gonna keep recording in case I run into something interesting. But beware, that's that's all that this episode is about. Nothing else. Nah. Later. Since I'm gonna be experimenting, I I want to carry on with uh, with all my grenades and all my medkits intact. I guess this is the kind of spot that if you had one of those bouncy chairs, you could get across from here, but. I have yet to come across a, a chair in House of Dawn. I mean, there are probably... Oh! Oh, that's, that's the Skadov Square, isn't it? No, wait. Oh no, I think that's, that's the one on top of the hill. Uh, anyway, I think there are some chairs in Skadovs, but you can't exactly get them out, can you? Because those are those are like fixed in the environment. So yes, one uh, potential soft spot that I might uh, try out another time is in. Mm, there's this uh, meadow or this uh, this cleaning on the opposite side of the map. You know, uh, between the, you know, behind the uh, the gassy swamp, and there is this one point where you have a large boulder next to the uh, next to the uh, uh, hill hillside, and I think a grenade jump might work there because it's it's so close to the top. They have probably put a uh, an invisible. Uh, Invisible bitch. <laughs> they have probably put the invisible wall there as well, but uh, but if it's uh, if it's just low enough, then it, I think it might be possible to get over it from there. Why I came here is that I have this suspicious notion that. Uh, that one of those stashes that I keep missing is somewhere in this area. Not that I have ever found any, but it's kind of easy to miss area. And I mean, even if you search all the bushes, it's, it's still kind of... It's 
sneaky, sneaky terrain. Piggy, go away, piggy. I have no quarrel with you right now. too small and it's too far from the from the top there. What about this tree? Show me. Do we have a stash here? No. I think I have uh, tried all the sides uh, to just sort of keep keep running or keep pushing because uh, in clear sky there is this point where you can just force your way in one of those, uh, in, in one such uh, such places, but I don't think it's the case here. point that I want to check out is at the sawmill. Also let's check out the plateau while we're here. Oh hello! Who goes there? Two squads. Two squads of stalkers. Well, hello. Да, настроение хуже не бывает. Слушаю тебя. Привет, брат. Come for the nightlife. You aren't very well equipped, are you? Okay, this boulder here is kind of in the in the position that you might might get lucky with. Let me try. Okay, too far, I guess. that I have checked the, this plateau for stashes, but let me check again. Sometimes the night uh, night time is good for keeping certain tunnel vision so that uh, your, um, your attention isn't grabbed by something else, you could, since you can only see what's under your nose. easier 
to focus or keep aware of only what's under your nose. Come on. Look, there's a bush up there. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Okay, let's, let's eat a bit. guy as well the uh, the way it worked was that if you had enough stamina to, sh to just keep pushing past certain points but uh, I think the the surfaces in Call of Prefiate are usually uh, too steep and or too slippery for that hello oh they are hunting a bloodsucker well, happy hunting. I have other stuff to do. Oh, and now it's raining again. Oh, hello. There's a squad here in the island as well. Damn, stalkers have an active nightlife now. Oh, I think these are bandits. Bandits. Ну типа я слушаю. the best best side to keep pushing like this yeah <gasps> ooh I should check these bushes again because again uh, exploiting the night tunnel vision unless I already did pick up the the rifle stash that I remembered from here which might also be the case because I I know I 
check the shit ton of these uh, this bush dashes like more like I, I checked a shit ton of bushes and I picked up a few stashes and and I have lost track. that I did pick up uh, some items from a bush uh, stash closer to the shore and there are indeed certain stashes which I kind of remember but never too, too clearly Crawling because this way I think I can see a little bit better under the branches, maybe, wishful thinking. make some compelling visuals right now all the branches and and dried leaves and shit the forcing yourself up from a slippery slope uh, is something that's better done next to a solid surface like I think uh, one reason why it worked in clear sky is because you could do that or, or like the place where you could do that was next to uh, next to the rail bridge so you probably bounced off a little bit uh, of the concrete uh, surface that was there. So mutant eyes. Okay, let's check the map actually. Ah, yeah, so this was. Yeah, th I have cleared three stashes here, so I think this one was some med kits and, and some ammo. This one was energy drinks. And, and something else and this ah this one was under the under the pier so judging by the sort of average coverage I think I did pick up that that weapon as well but I seem to remember and and still I'm not sure whether I cleared it or not. Oh, we have a hint of daylight. this uh, 
structure as well. difficulty here is that you can't actually get, get on top of the uh, of the concrete or like here you're being dropped down from there as well and pushed down it's like they sprayed it with stalker repellent Solid footing seems to be a bit of a problem here. alone for now. Mix again with a, a little bit added stamina. Uh, it's, it adds some time to the experimentation or like it adds options. Hmm, one thing I wonder, it's searching the choppers brought new life to zone. Has it also brought new zombies? without tackling them then I will okay so first I need to get on top of it quick save here too far. Just get back here. So the 
this one might be better with uh, with hand grenades. Okay, too far. Too far. Too close. Reload. you drop it underneath you? Nope, that's not the way. I was looking for is actually that one. Now that I'm looking at it. I know that I have gotten a chop of it in, in previous games, so it has to be possible. Probably have to bounce bounce off of the off of this uh, the surface can't remember if uh, grenade jumps grenade jumps were necessary maybe or maybe not can't remember I know that I have a screenshot standing the top of this one. Let's, let's do a little little grenading.
this one instead. Certain buildings have surfaces like this where you have to, I don't know, cling to it in a roundabout way. Okay, so let's 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 do this. Too far. Still. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna cut this uh, recording here, although I'm gonna keep uh, experimenting for a little bit, and then in the next one it's gonna be play as usual. If you watch this, thank you.